I'm really excited this year because on June 19th I'm getting a kidney. Some of my dialysis nurses are here and not my counselors don't have to do like my diet dialysis for me, like hooking me up at night. Grace Jeffries, J-E-F-F-E-R-I-E-S. And you're a volunteer here. I'm a volunteer, yes. For how many years now? This is my seventh year. Okay, so tell me what it's like when you see these kids. I mean, they were just climbing on the horses and mm -hmm. getting all excited. What does it mean to you to see them just kind of show that joy despite what they're going through? It really means a lot. I mean, I've been with these girls a lot of them for seven years. I mean, one of the girls who I helped to get on a horse and took her picture, we, she, her first year was my first year. So it's just really neat to see them grow up and see them go from, um, you know, some of them I've seen go from dialysis to transplant, and that's a really cool um, transition. Some of them, they've always had a transplant, and they don't know anything different, and so it's cool to just see them grow up and go from little kid to big kid. Um, it's just a really neat experience, and to be part of that is just, a very big blessing and I just, I mean, I love these kids, I look forward to this every year and I just, it's kind of undescribable to, to show that difference. I mean, even whether they're girls or boys, I mean, I, I'm a girl counselor and I work with the girls most, but even some of the boys I've seen grow up here, you know, and then one of them, he was really close with me and then last year he wasn't here because he got his transplant and this year he came back and now it's like one of those things where he's a teenager and he's cool and he's feeling better and so it's kind of like oh it's not cool to like her anymore but we'll still hang out and play gaga and so I mean it's just fun to see them grow up and get healthy and just you won't find a happier group of kids anywhere else because these kids are just so happy to be alive and happy to be here and it's just an indescribable joy. What is it about what they're going through, right? Like most kids going to camp, it's no big deal. For these kids, they do need some more specialized care while yeah. they're away from home. Can you explain a little bit about that? Yeah, it is a different camp. I mean, I work at um, a with a lot of different kids. I'm a teacher, so I work with a lot of different kids. But these kids, they need a little bit more. Um, and I think this, this camp experience, I mean, they can't even be gone from the hospital for a week some of them. I mean, we don't even have a week at camp. We have five days, four days, really, if you count them. Um, and so it's just, it's, it's a very unique opportunity, and you just come, and you know that you're going to be taking care of some really awesome kids, but it's, it's a challenge sometimes because they need a lot of help, and I don't have a lot of medical experience, so sometimes it's like, okay, we got to go find a nurse, you know, and then other times it's like, okay, I can handle this, and I can, you know, I've learned a lot about the medical side of things since I've been here, and so it's just, it's really a unique opportunity to see, I mean, how they take care of themselves a lot, but how much they need um, and rely on other people as well. And what inspired you initially to come to this camp? Well, my mom had a liver transplant in 2010, so nine years ago. And then when she got better, she went to the transplant games, and we met with um, a family who had a son who was a kidney transplant patient, um, and he had come as a camper, and then invited me to come as a counselor as well. So he got me um, in, and so did my mom, and then I just, I, I couldn't give it up. I, I love it. It's one of my most favorite things to do all year. I wouldn't give it up for anything. And two of the patients that I'm going to talk to are Anthony and... To miracle. To miracle. Mm -hmm. 
tell me about them a little bit from what you've seen and, and how pumped they are. To yeah, come to the yeah. This year. I don't know Anthony as well. Yeah. He's he's still newer and he's one of those boys who I'm looking forward to seeing yeah. grow up and, and see how he matures. Um, but to Miracle, I could talk all day about her. Uh, she was, her first year, she was in my cabin and she is my girl and I love her very, very much. And she has this, I swear to you, she has a grace radar where if I am anywhere within any sight of her. I will not know she's there, but she will shout across the room to me. And so she is just such a sweet kid. Um, they, she's actually in the little girl's cabin now, and I've moved up to the middle girl's cabin, and she will come over and sit with me still. And she's just a very neat kid. We even had um, a, a dinner that we went to, and she was there. And as soon as she got there, it was, bye, Mom, there's Grace, see ya. <laughs> I mean, she just, she blossoms here at camp. It, it's really a neat experience to see her because that first year she walked in and she was so shy and slowly started growing and, and reaching out and now she is a go-getter and you can't keep that girl down. But she's very sweet, very lovable, and she just is encouraging to other people, whether you're an adult or a kid or transplant or PD or anything, she will come find you and make sure you're having a good time. So it's really been neat to see her come out of her shell and, and grow. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. You're welcome.